Hello everyone! My name is Ira Fay, and I'm excited to show you this game from the War of the Ring 2023 World Tournament Top 16. We are down to 16 players. My opponent is Ari, who I like to think of as my nemesis because his name is my name backwards. <laughs> and he's actually really nice guy and nice to play against, but uh, I've always joked that he's my nemesis. So we'll see how it goes. I am playing uh, Shadow, and Ari is playing Free People. So I get, I allocate one eye, roll no more, uh, and get a very nice, very nice starting roll. They only get one movement, which is a little less than what you want, especially against only one eye. And they do get a very nice uh, strategy card. And also Axe and Boat's playable early if you, if you want to cycle a card with Gandalf. So, but Celeborn is, you know, one of the best cards, I think, to start with is free people. All right, so let's see what happens. I muster Isengard to war. I get Saruman because I know there's basically no chance of him getting Gandalf turn one. Theoretically, if he wanted to use a ring to separate companions and then had Mirror of Galadriel in hand and then played it, then he could get Gandalf turn one. And I thought to myself, that's worth a ring. I don't, I don't mind if he wants to do that. So, all right. So he moves armies reasonable. I also think it's okay with two musters to start to get somebody to war, but with a move like this, it makes me think maybe he's going to play a strategy card and then possibly move the fellowship, see if you need to hide with Strider, and then if not, maybe use a ring to move a second time. So I'm thinking maybe I'm going to get a ring turn one. All right, so he, uh, I move armies, preparing sort of the normal attack on Lorien by bringing a regular from North Dunland into Moria. Is that worth it? I don't know. Um, you know, I do have Devilry of Orthanc in my hand, so that becomes a playable card, combat card in, in Lorien, which can help. And now they play Celeborn's Galadrim. I don't love to see that, but that's how it goes. Wow, and they got two great mustering cards, Dane Ironfoot's guard and king brand's men so these are these are good card draws for them i get armies moving i move far harad to near harad and gorgoroth to moranon and i guess i'm thinking let's see what happens with the elves i don't want them i don't want ari to muster up the elves too much so maybe this gives me an option to stay towards gondor we'll see i have enough musters so I can get the Southrons and Easterlings to war relatively soon, th theoretically. All right, they move and they're safe, which is certainly fair. And then it looks like I'm now mounting a Gondorian attack. I moved Nern to Gorgoroth. So, you know, maybe that one elite in Lorien is scaring me off. I don't know this, but they've drawn some great mustering for, for Dew. Uh, both Dale and Erebor can be defended. And King Brand's men, since Gandalf is still in the guide, they can redraw even more, possibly get to Thranduil. So, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe I'm going to focus on Gondor first. I wasted half a movement going to North Dunland to Moria, but that's not the end of the world. All right, let's see what I do. They use a ring. All right, and and I think that I think that can really make sense. I on one hand, as free people, I'm reluctant to give up early rings, but on the other hand, getting two movement now means that they are more likely to be able to get through Moria next round and not land in Moria revealed. So, and if they get hit, they they don't mind killing off Gandalf sooner rather than later because Saruman is already in play. And it's not like one extra ring right now really helps me get Saruman or anything significant. All right, they move and they're safe. That's fair. I only had a one-third chance of hitting them, two-thirds chance of missing. All right, so it looks like I am... Okay, I thought about Gondor. I thought about doing this um, attack towards Gondor, Gorgoroth to minus Morgul, and uh, near Harad to Umbar, getting them ready in Umbar. But um, I decided to muster again because I was worried about not having enough mustering to get the witch king next round if possible um and i don't have the south rounds and easterlings so i, I see that I, i'm like i want to get the south rounds and easterlings into the battle sooner rather than later so i'm prioritizing the musters okay all right so i muster and they get there's another way can be useful later these these cards are not as useful power of tom bombadil um 
and I draw a swarm of bats, always useful to have a swarm of bats to counter a scouts. And maybe that makes me inclined, maybe now to go up to attack Woodland Realm now that I have a swarm of bats. All right, let's see what I roll. I allocate one, I roll one more, continue to get a very high number of attacks. What are my, I'm plus four on attacks right now. So I can really move my armies where I want them to go. They get a beautiful roll. All right, so that's that's a very nice roll also. They can um, very likely to be able to get Gandalf turn two. I count my attacks and it looks like with one, two, three, four, five attacks, I can go no man's land, southern Rovanian, northern Rovanian, one, two, three, and then four to attack Old Forest Road and then five to attack Dale. So I can get get the north to war and have my army there and I have swarm of bats to prevent this unit from old forest road getting into woodland realm all right so they start by moving and they get missed I move armies interesting okay so I'm like let's go for Gondor all right I committed to Gondor I, I respect that I'm staying away from do normally do is um you know, slightly easier, I think, maybe slightly easier, but uh, going after Gondor is, is reasonable too. All right, so they, and they don't have Faramir's Rangers, they don't have Guards of the Citadel, so I, I got a little bit lucky not, not going after Do, or at least what cards they drew. Uh, they move again, and I hit them this time, and a three. Perfect, right? That's exactly what you want to see to kill off Gandalf. You're not revealed. You're going to use that Will of the West. Perfect. All right. Can't get better than that. I attack into Osgiliath. I get one hit. They retreat into Minas Tirith. And now I'm going to just take care of... Aha, okay. So I have enough attacks. One, two, three. I have enough attacks to put Dol Amroth under siege. All right, that is that is quite good for me. So I don't play a card. They don't play a card. And now because I miss on that attack, they get to retreat to Lamadon, and now when I attack into Lamadon, not only does it cost me half a movement, and I would have been very happy to use that half movement from Minus Morwell into South Athelion um, or North Athelion, they also, because they have scouts, they're going to get, oh no, they don't have scouts. All right, they have advantageous position. Maybe that'll help. All right, but at least it cost me, it cost me movement. All right, the Witch King comes into play. Uh, they get the Gandalf, Gandalf the White. I now attack into Lamadon. Am I going to play a card? All right, I do play a card because, uh, what am I playing? I guess I'm playing Swarm of Bats because I don't want them to use Scouts into, into Dol Amroth. All right, they don't play anything. I guess they feel like, what good will it do? And they don't mind discarding Mighty Attack later. And so they're saving this advantageous position. Okay. All right, that regular falls, and now they muster, interesting, they mustered a regular into Dol Amroth and a leader into Minas Tirith, because Gondor certainly now is at war. It makes me worried about Imrahil of Dol Amroth, but I also, yeah, I wonder, should they get an elite there? Okay, I attack into Dol Amroth, and there are only four regulars there. That's... Like, I have nine hit points to their four. That's okay as long as they don't reinforce it. But they might be reinforcing it. I'm certainly worried about them reinforcing it. And they draw guards to the Citadel. That's nice to see for them. But not as good as a uh, Dol Amroth reinforcement. I will say because the elves are not at war, Cairdon's ships cannot reinforce Dol Amroth. So the only card in the deck is uh, Imrahil of Dol Amroth. So... They have drawn five strategy cards, so it's not impossible that they have it. I allocate an eye. I roll one more. And I only get three attacks this time. That's certainly more reasonable. They only get one movement. That's way below average. I don't know exactly how below average, but it's pretty unlikely. Um, all right, so what are they going to do? They start by mustering an elite into Minas Tirith. I'm very happy to attack Dol Amroth without them being able to reinforce it. I will surely play cards. Don't know what it will be. Probably Desperate Battle. Maybe Deadly Strife. Okay, Desperate Battle, taking it a little slow. And I get 
two hits, they get two back. I, I press here because I have Deadly Strife. I don't want them to reinforce it. I'm just going to get it done. And all right, and I got Great Host. So do you play Deadly Strife or do you play Great Host? This Great Host, this Many Kings, can be a pretty useful mustering card. And it would be pretty efficient. I could threaten, do at least a little bit. All right, so I play Deadly Strife because I'm, I guess I'm, first of all, that's more likely, that's sort of guaranteed, almost guaranteed to take out, um, I guess not guaranteed, but I think it is more likely that I roll at least two dice four plus then hit a single six with great host so all right they don't get any hits back i annihilate dole amroth so see you later dole amroth i then draw a card because i see that i'm gonna have to draw cards i'm not gonna be able to play out all my cards so i might as well draw first and see what i get they're passing i play many kings that's really nice i have um a good army in near harad i now have a full stack in North Rune and South Rune. I can probably merge these up at the very least, take over Dale and get one victory point for sure, and probably maybe take Erebor or Woodland Realm, depending. So, all right. Uh, they move and they're safe. I move my armies to finish off Minas Tirith. They play King Brand's men. That makes a lot of sense. I don't, I'm not happy to see it, but you know, they're entitled to get some mustering. I get a nice army of elephants outside of Minas Tirith, and I would love to have something that lets me attack efficiently, but I don't... Oh, I have a ring. Okay. So if they attack out of Minas Tirith, I'm likely to attack in using my ring. All right. What do they do? They get another elite into Minas Tirith. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. I forgot. Southrons and Easterlings are not even at war yet. So, so maybe that was a mistake in terms of which army I put here. I had this army in North Athelion that I could have moved into Osgiliath, but because the Southrons and Easterlings are not at war yet, they actually can attack out of Minas Tirith and then retake Pilargir before I have a chance to reinforce with the elephants. It's, I mean, get the Southrons and Easterlings to war. So it's not, I don't know, maybe it's not worth their time. They're, they were happier just to muster up in Minas Tirith. All right, they play Dane Ironfoot's guard here because what else are they going to play? I guess they're saving, they're saving guards of the Citadel for when they are into siege, and hopefully I won't be able to. If they have three elites in there, I'm probably not likely to press, press, press and kill them immediately. So, all right, uh, I draw. Okay, I use. Wow, so I just used a ring as a muster because I didn't have any card that I really wanted to play. And so even though I'm a little wary of using up my ring, you know, to turn a useless die into a die that does what I want it to be, uh, isn't bad. And then if I have excess musters, I can either use them in South Rune to eventually take over Woodland Realm Dale, or I can use them in Orthanc to eventually threaten Helm's Deep. So I guess that's why I did that. All right. They have five dice. I have nine they get Smeagol Helps Nice Master, fine. And Kyrgyz Ships, not really useful. It's not a bad combat card if you have a bunch of elites in battle. I'm happy to see Shadow is moving. There is actually a decent amount of army movement that I would be happy to do. And again, the other Swarm of Bats is great. I'm probably, I don't know, maybe I'm getting rid of Devilry of Orthanc. One of these, yeah, probably Threats and Promises. All right, so, uh, yep, Threats and Promises goes. I allocate an eye, I roll one more. And I get more musters than I really need. And had I known I was going to roll this, I wouldn't have used a ring last round. But it's okay. I can muster up in um, either in South Rune or in Orthanc, and that will be useful threats. All right, they continue to get nice rolls. Now that South Rounds and Easterlings are at war, they have to use their Wills of the West promptly to risk to not risk losing more than one die today without Dawn. They use this to muster in Minas Tirith. They want to make sure that Minas Tirith can hold. Interesting. I don't know how much that one extra elite helps. Are they, I guess they're planning on having a field battle. Is that worth a field battle? I can definitely have a chance of inflicting more than three hits in a field battle. 
especially I have a character now, so character die now, so I can move the Witch King in. And with stuff like, you know, Muma Kill or Cruel's Death, any of these, I, you know, there are many cards that I can use to inflict more than three hits. So they effectively added half a hit point. I might have been more tempted just to add a leader or honestly more tempted to just move the fellowship along because they're at five movement right now. They really want to get into Mordor at the end of round five. They do have some rings, but I didn't roll too many attacks this round. I'm slowing down a little. I'm going to probably have to use this character not as an attack, but to reposition Nazgul. So, all right, let's see what happens. I, yes, I reposition Nazgul. I put six there uh, because I am planning on playing Orc Patrol and they are terrible as combat cards. So that's why I have six. I am nervous about Gandalf coming in there. Quite nervous, but I can probably still take him out. It certainly makes a lot of these character cards less playable. Dread and Despair is useless. Cruel as Death, they are terrible. All of these are useless. I do have Dreadful Spells, so that's the other reason to have five Nazgul here. It'll help me soften up Minas Tirith and effectively turn a Palantir into a, a one-round attack. All right, they move and they're safe. I have not hit them. I've hit them once, and it was a three, and that took out Gandalf. So, All right, so they're having a field battle. A little risky. Let's see what happens. I'm playing a character card and I'm happy to take hits. I mean, I have a total of 24 hit points here against their 12. All right. So I'm playing interesting. So I'm playing Dread and Despair because I don't want to take too many hits back. I guess my thinking is take only a few hits this round, maybe not do that many to them. And then if I do like one hit or something like that, then I press, they might be tempted to stay out anyway. All right, and, and have a second round of field battle. We'll see what happens. All right, I forfeit four. I do one to myself, one to them. So yeah, so I only do one to them. They do two to me. All right, so now, now they have two hit points only, extra, two hit points in excess of their capacity. Now are they going to be tempted to stay? I'm definitely going to press and they stay and fight. All right. So so I guess that's what my thinking was with playing Dread and Despair first. They're feeling a little overconfident, I guess. But I can definitely inflict more than two hits right now. All right. I redraw Cruel Weather. Happy to see that in case I can stall the Fellowship if they get revealed at some point, which they might. And... Um, I'm going to play They Are Terrible or Cruel as Death, probably. Uh, they're, they Are Terrible is functionally equivalent to, to Cruel as Death, so um, given the amount of leadership I have. So might as well play They Are Terrible to maintain five leadership instead of four. Okay, anyway. Um, right, <laughs> that's funny. After saying all that. Uh, so I ended up playing uh, this Orc Patrol because the one extra difference in leadership doesn't matter that much. And I'm more excited to play Foul Thing because it could possibly get Strider. So if they get revealed at some point, then I have a chance of getting Strider. It's not that big, but if I get him, it's huge. It, it, the chance isn't that big, but if I get Strider, it would be a big deal. They play Charge. Obviously, that's great to get to do a four um, pre-round attack. Uh, they only, they get zero. So they would expect one and a third. They get zero. I still have a lot of hit points. So it's just, I'm not really that concerned about this. I mean, even if they dish out a bunch of damage, I just won't press and then I'll, I'll re resupply my army. So, all right. They still want to get hits. Obviously I get th four hits, which absolutely can happen in a field battle. And even if they had done four to me or five to me, I still would press. And I think they would have to retreat into siege. Uh, they get two back to me. So I'm obviously only losing regulars here because um, I'm going to eventually reinforce with this army from North Athelion. They are forced to go down. So they're at seven hit points to my eight, but I have a significant leadership ability, leadership advantage. I don't think they want, I don't think they want to be playing, playing this against me. And I think they're going to go into siege now. All right. Um, 
All right, so what just happened? Oh, right, so because of the way they took hits, I now know that they have guards of the Citadel. Um, what can I do? Sometimes that happens. Um, so they do go into siege now. They do play guards of the Citadel now. Yeah, I'm still going to continue the attack. And then they have this incredible nine hit point, three leadership army in Minas Tirith. Can I take it over with 18 hit points, 19 counting loss or not? Maybe it's going to be close. Certainly going to take quite a few attacks to do so. So they have um, mustered a significant defense of Minas Tirith. It did slow down the fellowship very slightly because they used a will of the West to muster once, but that's a pretty strong, pretty strong army in there. Um, And what's gonna what's gonna happen? I guess I have dreadful spells that can certainly do some. All right, so I, I'm I'm saying what I'm saying now, which is that's a tough nut to crack. Am I gonna be able to take out Minas Tirith? Hard to know. Maybe I should go attack somewhere else. It's not exactly obvious where else I should attack. It's also not obvious what I should do with these musters. It seems like Rohan may be the best option and use those for the musters. I don't know. Um, all right. So I go ahead and muster up. I get three points of mustering by mustering in or think using Voice of Saruman. I guess my thinking is maybe I will go after Rivendell because um, I have Cruel Weather. So I, I really want that to be an option to stall the fellowship. And I can, I have Shadow is moving. So I can use these musters efficiently. I can then play Shadow is moving. I can go attack Rivendell. The elves are not at war at all. So that could be, that could be pretty good. Minas Tirith is not getting any bigger. There's like nothing getting bigger in Minas Tirith. So, so maybe that's what I'm seeing there. All right, let's see what happens. I play Shadow is moving. I, I certainly want to move one into Osgiliath so I can be prepared to reinforce Minas Tirith. I go from South Rune to East Rune because I want to be prepared to probably take Dale and maybe maybe um, Woodland Realm. I then get North Dunland, South Dunland to North Dunland is my move. And then they, since they don't have scouts, and I know that they don't have scouts since they have zero uh, character cards or zero strategy cards, um, they have to retreat from Iron Hills into Erebor, which I think they're fine to do. They get, yeah, they're getting Rohan ready. They're getting Erebor ready. Nice play. All right. I muster into North Dunland. I muster again into North Dunland. They move the Fellowship. I hit them. They're still not revealed. Right, and I want to reveal, reveal them also for Foul Thing. So they're, th that's why I think I, I decided to go after Rivendell. I want to pressure, I want to have some pressure on the Fellowship so they get revealed. And they are at seven movement now. Um, three Corruption, do you just take it? Do you risk Strider here? You're not revealed, but you also have there as another way. So you're kind of excited to get to Gollum sooner rather than later. I think you probably take a random here random. Okay. I do not get Strider. Fair enough. And, and, you know, obviously I would have been happier if they got revealed, but any sort of hit is still helping me at this point because uh, certainly a big hit that causes them to take a random because now I have a one out of five chance of getting Strider with Foul Thing instead of one out of six. All right. I move armies. Okay. Interesting. So I try Minas Tirith once. That's, that's interesting. I'm going to, I guess I'm just going to cycle some cards and am I going to cycle foul thing? Am I giving up on this whole Rivendell idea? I don't know what's going on. Maybe my plan is use these guys in North Dunland to go take the Shire. And then I have Dale, the Shire, Minas Tirith and Gondor. Okay, that's a possibility. 
I was thinking I was going to go for, I was going to go for Rivendell, but now I'm like, but why didn't I say foul thing? I guess my thinking is, I mean, I'm certainly not playing crew weather. Maybe, maybe my thinking is they're not going to get revealed before I get there. I could have moved to Holland. I could have moved both of these armies to Holland. All right. I play foul thing. A little weird. All right. I do get three hits, though. That's nice. And they get four hits back. All right. So I have to be a little careful about, like, I don't want to lose this elite, but I have to be a little careful about a counterattack against me. So I still have four hit points. I'm probably okay. They probably can't do that many. It was a little risky. All right, I'm probably happy to see um, <laughs> Foul Stench here because if they attack out, at least I can cancel their leadership. All right. Um, the other thing I'm thinking is if they attack out, like I'll get some hits against them. Maybe they'll k kill the Witch King. Maybe they won't, but I can attack back in from Osgiliath. And if I, I certainly don't want to lose the Witch King, but if I end up losing it, it might be okay. All right, I got Denethor's Folly. That's interesting. I might end up playing that. I allocate an eye. I roll one more. They only get one movement. So there is no way, basically no way that they can get to Mordor this round. That's got to feel a little sad for them. Um, I don't know what the odds are of only rolling one. Let's check real quick. So I'm going to a site called uh, anydice.com. And you can basically do a variety of uh, dice simulations. I'm going to roll five dice and I'm going to hit on basically a, a D6 that's going to roll higher than three. All right, let's calculate that. All right, so an 18%, 19% chance. 3% uh, chance to roll zero movement and a 16% chance to roll exactly one movement. So it's about a 19% chance total to roll only one movement. Obviously not great. Not impossible, as we see. And not like crazy, crazy bad luck, but just sort of normal bad luck, 19% bad luck. Okay. Uh, they move the fellowship, and I hit them, and I reveal them. Okay. So not pleasant. Moria Tile gets a three. They're going to take three now because they definitely want to use Strider's ability to hide, and they're not as worried about corruption. Yeah, interesting. They also had We Prove the Swifter to get Gandalf into Minas Tirith. They also had a attack die to attack out of Minas Tirith. So maybe that was important to do before this movement. I mean, you don't want to lose your only movement if I have Day Without Dawn. Okay, so that was not pleasant for them. And now I'm like, well, I should have saved. I should have saved uh, Foul Thing. I'm not sure that was worth. I mean, it did get me a couple extra hits, but all right. I move armies. And I move, I move, I, re I reinforce Minas Tirith, so now the Witch King is safe, and I move from East Rune to the Vale of Karnan. Uh, they play We Prove the Swifter, interesting. So they are doing it to bring Gandalf in. And now, like, obviously that looks pretty good. You do have six hit points, but there are a lot of cards I could still have that can dish out damage. I'm, pro I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna play Denethor's Folly probably. Um, just to kill a leader, maybe, maybe not, um, and to waste one of their dice. Because Gandalf is in there, they can get rid of it with any action die, so that's kind of cool. I don't know if I'm going to end up playing it. I'm certainly going to play um, Dreadful Spells. Uh, all right, so they play we, we Prove the Swifter. The other thing that does is it makes me pretty safe from Ents because, Gan because there's no longer a companion in Fangorn. So I am now thinking, all right, I can play Dreadful Spells. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Three hits. 
above average, significantly above average. Let's find out how above average that is. So um, just to just to show you, this is what the distribution is for the um, rolling, this top one right here, uh, right here. This is what it was to your distribution for um, rolling movement from the fellowship. So either zero, one, two, three, four, five on five dice. This is an extra calculation that we can ignore for now. All right, so now let's look at what are the chances of rolling, how many hits would you expect to get with a five die dreadful spells. Another, so it was 16% uh, plus 4% plus half a percent to get three or more, so around 20%. So that was, again, quite good luck. That said, even two hits certainly would have whittled down that um, that army, but I'm in the 20% luck, luck zone, so pretty good for me. Gandalf is like, oh, why did I show up here? It's really bad weather. Um, just kidding. Dreadful spells is not uh, weather, but uh, okay. So yeah, that's, that's not so good for free people. They now hide the fellowship. I, I did say, yeah. So I've noted in chat, I did, I did hold dreadful spells for a while, knowing that Gandalf showing up there was a real possibility. Um, all right, so I attack into Minas Tirith. I'm playing Great Host, and they play no quarter, so there's a chance that this won't work if I don't roll sixes, um, but I roll a six. So they get four hits, but unfortunately that is not enough because I got, I got one hit. Um, so I take four hits, and then I just press and I just need to roll a six on five dice. Oh, I rolled, I got Deadly Strife. Am I gonna play it? Maybe I'm gonna play it right now just to be sure to kill off Gandalf? Yeah, because he might he might have heroic death or something like that. So, and he does have heroic death, interesting. Uh, he doesn't play a card here, that's interesting. I guess he just figures Gandalf is dead. I'm gonna save, there's another way, it's such a powerful card effect. Better to save that. So, and I don't need Corsairs of Umbar because Dol Amroth has already been captured. All right, so I get my one hit, and um, that's that. So, sad, very sad for Gandalf. That was a significant blow to the Fellowship. Really a horrible turn for the free people. Gandalf dies. Minas Tirith is captured. The Fellowship doesn't make it to Mordor. Really rough. Um... And I have cruel weather, so this is this is going to be very tough for them. Um, I still think that was the right play. All right, so I draw a strategy card, get another deadly strife. Very happy to see that. I muster in Isengar. No, where did I just muster? In North Dunland. Okay, I muster in North Dunland because I have an extra muster, and now I'm going to go take out... Um, Rivendell, because the elves have not been mustered at all. Okay, so now the elves are getting mustered a little bit. I'm going to go find my victory points. I should be at five victory points right now. So if I take out um, maybe Woodland Realm and Rivendell and Dale, I mean, this, this is going to be really hard for them to hold. They have to hold two of Rivendell, uh, Woodland Realm, and Helm's Deep. I think that's going to be hard for them to hold those two. All right. They draw a strategy card, hoping to draw Kindred of Glorfindel or Power to Great or Thranduil's Archers. They draw the Red Arrow. Not so useful, though I guess you, it's not bad to have a Scouts to get from Dale into Woodland Realm or Fords of Eyes and into Helm's Deep. So not horrible. And then I move armies. I'm going around Dale because the North is not a war. And I would much rather have maybe a single regular go into Woodland Realm as opposed to three regulars and a leader. So that's why I'm going around. And I had the spare army movement anyway. So I think that's that's what I'm thinking there. All right. Uh, they draw Athelos, can be useful. And they drew into Kindred of Glorfindel. Okay, nice. Probably not enough. I drew into Monsters Rouse, which I might play for the... For the um, card effect. I normally don't, but it does get me an extra elite in Trollshaws right where I am, which can be fun. Um, 
I roll, I allocate and I roll zero. They get plenty of movement and they didn't actually want that, I don't think. They move the fellowship. I play Nazgul and miss, I miss. I play Nazgul search now to be able to reposition my Nazgul and I didn't even have a character die. So that's actually a very useful time to have Nazgul search. The fellowship is revealed and um, then they hide and now I attack into Old Forest Road. I I guess I used my Swarm of Bats for Shadows Moving. So I guess I just, um, I play a character card, right. I play a character card to make it seem like I'm fishing for Cruel Weather, even though I have Cruel Weather. So that's cool. They retreat into um, Woodland Realm. And now I play Monsters Roused because I had an extra muster die. I'm saving this Palantir to play Cruel Weather or Nazgul Strike if needed. And um, maybe I should just save that Desperate Battle for a combat effect, but all right. I attack into Rivendell. I attack into Woodland Realm. Yeah, so this is gonna be super tough. For they, they have to hold now if I, I mean, I'm surely going to take out Rivendell, even if they have, um, even if they have power too great, they, they do have, um, Kindred of Glorfindel, which might help, but all right. They do play Kindred of Glorfindel. Oh, oh, right. And because they got revealed from Nazgul search, now they moved, they hid. And they were only at four dice. Now, they're, so they're not getting Gandalf the white this round. They're playing Kindred of Glorfindel to hope... Oh, sorry. Gandalf is already dead. They lost a die. Right. So they, um, they're they playing Kindred of Glorfindel, which makes sense. But now they're vulnerable to Cruel Weather if they don't get hit. If they don't get revealed. So... Yeah, this is just really tough for them. Okay, they redrew into Thrandall's Archers. That's nice. I don't know that they're going to have time to play it. Now I'm at a situation where I'm going to take out Woodland Realm because um, I know that Rivendell can't really get any stronger, and I still have Denethor's Folly and whatever other character card to, to get rid of Power Too Great if they play it. So, um, yeah, this is just going downhill for free people. Uh, I attack into Woodland Realm. I play Nazgul Strike to continue, um, though at this point it doesn't matter because, yeah, whatever. Um, they play Thrandall's Archers knowing that they're not going to be able to uh, get to ever play it. Maybe it's worth saving um, just in case the combat goes really badly. Maybe. I'd like to hope. Um but they get five hit. They get three hits. I get two hits, and I don't press. So I'm just. I, I know now that they play Thranduil's archers. There's really not no help that can come to uh, to Thranduil to Woodland Realm. So, all right, they move. They get hit. I apologize because just the luck is not going their way. I play Cruel Weather, and I attack into Woodland Realm, and I don't get any hits. I didn't play any cards because I guess I wanted to save Deadly Strife. Why? For Rivendell? Okay. I could have played it. Um, okay, whatever. Next round. Um, this, I just, there's no way that I can't get to 10 victory points. E probably this round and certainly by the end of next round. So they get more movement, not useful. They muster into Dale. Now that the North is at war, because I attacked again into Woodland Realm, um, and I, now I just want to finish out uh, finish out uh, Woodland Realm. So, um, all right, I play Deadly Strife now. They play There's Another Way now, uh, but uh, I, I finish them off. So they get one hit. This army and Dale might be able to hold Dale, but. They're not going to be able to also hold Edoras and Helm's Deep. Plus, I have this army in Dole Golder that can come and do something. So, pretty hopeless for the Fellowship at this point. I play Fighting Urukai to take out um, Rivendell. I play finally my Devilry of Orthanc, getting three hits. And, 
round two, I don't play cards because whatever, I'm just going to roll sixes. Um, and now round three, I don't play cards and I roll sixes. So this was way overkill with this army. Um, it doesn't always go that well. I didn't have fighting or a high in hand. I wasn't sure exactly how, I, how much I'd have to rush. So, all right. And now I just move armies around this army and Trollshaws is going to go take the Shire. This army is going to go take Edoras. I mean, there's just nothing they can do. Um, they pass. I move armies. I mean, I, I think they might've even played power of Tom Bombadil. It just, yeah, hopeless. Um, I attack the Shire and take the Shire. They move Strider out of the fellowship. Um, but it's not enough, even Dead Men of Dunharrow, to retake um, Pilar Gear because I'm at 11 victory points now. And um, that was the end of that game. So, you know, I think free people played well. Maybe there was one slight thing they could have done differently with getting the Fellowship to, um, to Mordor one turn earlier. Maybe if they had, instead of reinforcing Minas Tirith, if they had... Um, moved the fellowship that round i think it was round four maybe but it's hard to know they were let's look at the statistics they were um i guess pretty average on movement um i was pretty average on hits i was plus three on attacks and minus five on eyes and was able to use my palantirs pretty efficiently so um yeah some of the key combats went my way all right Good game, Ari. That was the top 16. Uh, or no, that was top eight. So that was, top, we're in the top eight. And no, no, gonna get it right. It was top 16. <laughs> that was top 16 match. I have won um, game one in my top 16 match to be continued. Have a good rest of the day.